Recently, I uploaded a video on two $1 million systems. Now, the number of views I've gotten was just incredible. Thank you. Now, to keep that video short, I edited out a lot of the footage, and many of you have asked me to include it. So here's part two of the video. Now, it will not be as exciting as the first video, obviously. And for those who have yet to see the first video, I will include the link in the first description. Now, thank you for leaving great comments in the first video. It warmed Angie's heart as this was her first time exposed to YouTube. Now, however, unlike the first video, I will remove all the negative attacks. I'm okay with honest feedback, but not personal attacks. You can say you don't like the system because of ABC, the color, the shape, but please don't attack Angie. For example, if you disagree with her that the preamp is the most critical component in the system, sure, it is not like this is a university exam and there is only one correct answer. Share what you think and move on. Just don't say things like, ah oh, man, she's a wealthy lady with no idea about hi-fi. Some call her a crook or a fraud when they have never met her. Now for those who don't know Angie, she is well respected in the hi-fi world. When she hosts an event, famous people fly in worldwide to attend. For example, just come to her party if you want to meet Jeff Rowland. You know what? I should film one of these events one day. The best part is the free food. So let's keep things positive and please leave comments just be respectful. Another horn speaker just park on the side. This, this is the Duo GT. And again, <clears throat> with this, I have the version where I can switch and show customers the difference between the built in iTron amp mm -hmm. or an external lamp. And this is a very unique external lamp because it's a 211 tube. 211, oh, nice tube. Yeah. So again, because the speakers are typically 107, 190 B efficiency, I don't need watts for these, mm -hmm. but I'm going to use a high quality performing app. I have the stereo 300 B in the other room. Here's the smaller. This is also the Wadax. It's called the Atlantis. Mm -hmm. So it's one below the reference that you saw upstairs. How, how much is that? <clears throat> I think that the U.S. I'm not sure about the U.S. retail, but I think it's around seventy. Uh, this is the Phasemation preamp. What's unique about this? It is a passive preamp. No extra power cord needed. Passive circuitry. I also have their uh, 300B amplifiers, mm -hmm. but they're at every viewer's house for now. I see. So they're not here right now. All right. But in the other room that you wanted to go to, which was my home theater. And the system is down because half of it's at the Toronto show. Uh, what we have here is a stereo airtight 300B. And so this that's paired up with the passive version. So this doesn't have iTron. So I need an amplifier. Mm -hmm. uh, again, the amp is built in for the bass. There's always, uh, bass drivers are always powered. The only thing I'm using this app again is to drive the horn drivers. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And this is their new uh, top line preamplifier. That's the uh, seven, mod number seven. And upstairs was also the new photo stage. So this air cake. But what's really cool about this, talk about the good old days. We have bass control, presence control that we can use, or of course, totally bypass it. So it's and gain trim. So we can uh, adjust that gain setting as well. If, if your app's got a lot of power, mm -hmm. you can run long interconnects with this and never have too much gain. Mm -hmm. But that's a nice feature to have. Base compensation. The base and uh, presence control, travel control. <laughs> oh. uh. But this is a, like a new piece. It's not this a vintage. Is a brand, right? No, it's a brand new piece. Exactly. This is the back of it. So you'll see where I took some of the cables to the show. Uh, and there, there's the model, ATC7. Mm -hmm. So you've got balanced inputs as well as RCA. Mm -hmm. The output 
uh, when you go to the output, it is only RCA. Okay. And that's because a lot of the time, single-ended gear, tube gear, only runs in RCA. Okay. So that gives you the maximum performance. Mm -hmm. It's uh, great to watch concerts. Oh, so that's yeah. what you do. Now, if only I can have this at my home. <laughs> All right, so let's go out. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, I see another setup area. No, that I'm just breaking in for oh. the CAF show uh, that's coming up. So I just put the little system together, which uh, is the rhythm speakers. These are the model Trishna. And it's going to be powered up. At the show, we're going to power it up with a Western Electric integrated tube amp. So I decided to break them in with the audio research tube amp. That's what we're using in the Toronto show right now. Oh. Yeah. That's a white version of it. That to show we have the silver. Yeah. yeah. So this is just put in front of the bar to break in and put some hours in it. Before I take it to the show, all right, there's the in Washington. <laughs> Guys, let me show you the bar instead. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my wines. Tim to powder jeans. They made an anniversary reissue of this. These are originals. Okay. I have these for 40 years. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's special for you, too. Yeah, so I just keep it. <laughs> Oh, these are transparent cable boxes. Yeah, those are those are the empty boxes for all the cables that I'm using. <laughs> oh my goodness! It, yeah, what? Ten million there? And no, maybe the speakers come in a chest that's like a toy's chest that's this big. They're in the garage. I see. <laughs> <laughs> these are like thirty thousand, twenty thousand, thirty whatever. So that's it for Angie's home. And for those who have never been to a store. I actually made a video a few years ago. It is as interesting as her home. Well, you got a bit more variety there. After all, it is a store and there's two sections. One where they have system, the price of a house, and then another side, the price of a car. I'll leave a link to that video also. I have to say every time when I get a chance to go to the store, it is definitely a treat. So I'll finish the video with uh, footage from the first video for those of you who have not seen the other one so yeah with this i'll see you guys next time i mean nothing compares to this not even close when people say oh it sounds live i feel the singer in the room i tell you man blah 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 compared to this not even close man yes you are looking at a one million dollar system so andrew maybe you can tell me about the subwoofer first. This is what caught my attention right away when we walked in. Okay, in the center you've got what's called the space horns. The one, the two on the top are the single driver 12 inch. Mm -hmm. The ones below that are called the twin space horns. And each of them has uh, two 12 inch, all of course, horn loaded woofers. There's um, going to be another two going to sit on top of the small ones soon. But uh, so those are the new avant-garde space horns. Okay, so let's move on to the speakers. And that's the Trio G3, which is the newest version of the Trios. Um, they're very unique in a lot of ways from the previous generation. One of the biggest things that they've done, well, they've done a lot of things. The tweeter now is, uh, is on a rail mm -hmm. that you can. Um, on that rail, bring it forward or back. So you're time aligning the tweeter depending on the toe in of the speaker and the listening chair that you sit in. Okay, so that's the, the rail, okay. The tower has been greatly increased uh, because it houses a lot of things. Um, it houses the, pass the crossover. It also houses what's called the iTron amplifier. The iTron is a proprietary amplifier designed by Avant-Garde to drive just the horns. So your tweeter, mid-range, and mid-horns are, are driven by the iTron. You can patch in your own amplifier if you so chose to. The subs have their own 1,000-watt amp, so you don't need an amp to drive them. The speaker is 107, 190B efficiency, so you don't require a lot of power, 
but a good performing amplifier is something I would highly recommend because horns can be very unforgiving and ruthless. Um, so you can switch between, you can start with your own amplifiers. If later down the road you wanted, you can buy the panel for the iTron, the iTron, and um, it can be put into the speaker. So you can take it as a step two if you can't go iTron all the way at, right away. Mm -hmm. The iTron option is 49,000 US. The horns themselves without the iTron is 109. Mm -hmm. So you would do 109, 49, and the crossover, which adds another 5,000. And the subwoofers? The subwoofers are... Uh, 109 for the twins for the pair that's the bottom two the top two i believe is 80,000 a pair 80 or 88 for the pair and all us <clears throat> you'll notice that you can keep adding subs you just daisy chain the cable from one sub to the other you'll also notice this connection the ethernet connection that's for the dsp which is a program that will allow you to contour the base response oh. that you want. So you download the app on your computer, and there's like a little graphic EQ, right. which will do boosting, gain settings, and frequency settings. And that's just for the base, because so, the base is the most difficult part to integrate in a room. So no wonder that's why it did not felt loaded. That's right? correct. Right. I can adjust it. Because it was so big, I was expecting to be like, I don't know, like bombarded by bass, but no, no. It, it, yeah, it, like you expect to have all this bass that's going to irritate you when it's not. It's gentle transition. And I can tell you guys, um, as I listen to the, the speaker, you don't get listening fatigue, but it can go very, very loud. Like it would extend all the way to, I don't know, supersonic, uh, whatever. Well, we had levels level. of 90, 92 dB. Yeah. And you didn't even, yeah. you know, it was comfortable. You weren't even disturbed about it. Yeah. And also, it goes so deep that, yeah, well, when you have, well what do you expect? Look at the subwoofers, guys. Whoa. Yeah. It's like going to an IMAX cinema times two or something. <laughs> it's like so, to go to the front end here, uh, again, it's a VAC statement, although it was black. This one is silver, so that it could match my DCS Vivaldi stack. Mm -hmm. which, of course, is clocked, which I'm a big believer in clocks, and upsampling so that I can stream music. So that's my DAC and streamer there. Uh, and that's, by the way, the Vivaldi Apex, so it is the latest version of the DCS. And I want to add something. Like I was talking to Angie just now. The DCS is actually less expensive than the one upstairs, but because it's a question of, Synergy. Synergy, system matching. That's why they're here as opposed to upstairs. And we had a great discussion about Synergy because as I always say, everything is a question of how well you match it, right? You don't just buy the best review gear and put them together thinking that it will just automatically sound good. It's all about system matching. And that's, you know, I've been spending all my time on my channel talking about Synergy. And this is a perfect example. Angie has, and has all the resources. She can have the, the, the DAC upstairs. But no, she put this one because this is the best matching in this scenario for this room. And the turntable uh, is my newest addition. That's the Esoteric T1. It's the top of the line uh, for Esoteric. Um, it's got a Phasemation cartridge, and it's their new 5000 series. That cartridge itself is about 20 US. 20,000 US. That's my car, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, I meant that's more than my car. Then we won't talk how much the phono stage is. It's a oh. multi-chassis monoblock. So this is your right and this is your left channel. Each isolated power supplies. I try, this, this is the step-up transformer, and that's the power. Uh, you can use three uh, uh, turntables, or I'm going to use three tone arms. So we're going to add another tone arm here which I'm waiting for the tone arm to arrive any day now. So we insert another arm board like this mm -hmm. for whatever arm I'm going to put. It's going to be a 12-inch. 
and that will go in there. So this table will take three tone arms, which I can patch into this one foam stage. And you'll notice the power supplies on the bottom. Esoteric is a big promoter of clocking, mm -hmm. so even their turntable is clocked. It's not just for digital. It's also for the esoteric uh, turntable. And again, HRS stand. This is the VXR, which is their top. This is the SXR, which is the next one down. And the foundation that you put your equipment on matters.